Hello everyone, and uh, yeah, welcome for uh, this run of um, Pokemon Emeralds Battle Dome. So this is one of the facilities of the Battle Frontier, and uh, I might show you my team before I start, so because it's the only opportunity I will have to do so. So I have a Latios with Twisted Spoon. And yeah, it's hidden power fire for the scissors uh, and fortress mainly. Uh, Zapdos with a magnet with a hidden power grass for obvious reasons and a Medicham choice band adamant and uh, the hidden power is a rock even though uh, I shouldn't need this hidden power much. And I will uh, yeah, start and then explain what the dome is about because we have quite some time the run should take around uh yeah an hour so yeah let's start in three two one go all right so the um, the battle dome uh, each round is um each round is like a single elimination tournament uh, between you and uh, 15 uh, ai trainers uh, so that means you need four uh, four fights to win the round. You need to win four fights to win the mini tournament and win the round. And after five rounds, you get uh, to the silver symbol. And after uh, ten, you get the gold. And uh, yeah, at the end of every uh, at the end of round five and ten, you have to face a uh, Tucker. Which is uh, the, yeah, the leader of the facility. So round one, the trainers should be pretty straightforward. So for each fight, uh, we have a team of three Pokémons, but we only pick two for the for each fight. And uh, unlike any other fa uh, facility in uh, Gen three or any other fights in Gen three, you have team preview actually. So you can see what are the three uh, Pokémon of your opponent, and uh, you choose accordingly. Uh, however, first round, first round is super straightforward. Latios should kill everything almost. So to save a, a few seconds every time, I will uh, just not look at team preview for round one. Uh, when I'm on PB attempt, I usually don't look either for round two. Because if I get uh, if I get the luck I need. Uh, for PB attempt, it's better for round two to uh, skip as well, because you can one shot most things. Uh, but the thing is, there are some uh, there are some cases where you c it can go wrong in round two by doing that. Uh, most notably, because you can face uh, mons like uh, Wobbuffet or um, Chansey, which uh, Latios would struggle a lot against. Uh, I should have surfed here. Okay, never mind. Uh, Psy Psychic was the play because obviously, if you uh, if you one shot with a neutral move, it's better than to one shot with a super effective move. Save a few frames. But I just wasn't sure to remember if that killed, but it did. So, so far, please forward one one. Uh, the trainers will go harder and harder as the rounds go on. So like in round one, as you can see, they have like really bad Pokemon. Like they have Geodude, they have uh, Whoopers. Uh, but like especially from round eight onwards, uh, even the little kids start to have um, Raikou, Suicune, etc. Oh, Lydian sadly will live the hit, but can kill with the second one. Oh no, he's focus band and he did swords dance. Speed of drop wastes frames as well. Okay. I s it's good that he did button pass. I was scared about something like uh, Silver Wind at plus two. But maybe he doesn't have it. Thing is, since I always kill it after uh, sword dance, I've never seen the move of this thing. But okay, yeah. Like in the PB attempt, that's almost uh, reset already. <laughs> Usually, I want uh, in PB attempts, I would want uh, like almost perfect round one. Uh, 
Because every extra turn you spend is uh, is a waste, and you yeah, then uh, you will not have that many opportunities to come back because then, uh, usually the luck evens out. But yeah, I guess it, it, it's pretty unrealistic. Like many Pokemon runs, it's uh, quite unrealistic to get um, runs close to PB pace on... Um, uh, on a marathon setting. Uh, yeah, sadly I am using Twisted Spoon and not Lumberry. So the paralysis on Spark is pretty bad. Because yet yeah, with Twitch at Spoon I can get a few more uh, kills. And uh, yeah, Kek... I don't even one-shot Kek as well. So yeah, that's a really bad fight. I hear I do Psychic to not... Okay. He crit me. This is already going amazing. Uh, yeah, this is not unsafe though, like, that boss will finish the fight, no problem. Alright, so we, we beat round one. Which was the easiest one, and uh, yeah. We lost quite some time, but... Should be underestimate. Especially because uh, if I lose the fight, the run dies anyway. <laughs> so. Okay, here we go, round two. So you have to save at every uh, run, and yeah, if I lose a fight, the run is uh, absolutely dead. Because um, all those um, frontier facilities revolve on streaks, win streaks. Plus the Chancellor runs. This is why I watched him preview. This is why I watched him preview in round 2. Because you can get on Chansey and uh, yeah, you need many charm to make it through Chansey. So I will uh, lock myself on Brick Break and now we should be fine. It's still a time loss to face Chansey because it is... Uh, his HP bar is really... okay. That's good that it doesn't show up because, like, the health bar of uh, Chansey uh, goes down way slower than the other ones. So it's technically a time loss to face um, Chansey. Good. Round two, kick. Turn, mid tongue, li Linatone. Uh, yeah, not a really good uh, three. There's. N yeah. I don't have any combina combination that one shot everyone. Sadly. Because the hidden power fire doesn't uh, kill. I do it hoping for like a crit or a max roll. But... And kick turn. Uh, I am not sure it kills. Okay, it does. I think in the later rounds it doesn't, but here it does. Um, so yeah, like every uh, Frontier Facilities, uh, AI trainers are stuck to three IVs on each set, uh, because the IVs only depends on uh, your streak in the tower. 
Monkey Tentacool Fampi. That's for the tears. Uh, yeah, it's, it only de is there's a bug and it, the IVs of the trainers only depends of your streak in the tower. So the tower is the only facility with proper IVs for the trainers. Uh, so I purposely have a streak of zero so that every trainer has a three IVs in every stat. They, are, they still have the EVs though. So yeah, the trainers all have EV spreads, like maximum EV spreads. I think so, maybe not in the first round, but at least they have EV spreads. EV spreads. But yeah, it's a game freak EV spreads, so it's not always optimal for them. But at least they are using it, so... In some cases, we will do a very little damage. Okay, so we are in the final of round 2. Against Caitlyn. Bennett, Hunter, Webuffet. That's for Medicham. Can we click Shadow Ball? And win the whole thing. Unless something uh, desperately wrong happens. So yeah, we got the two mons we didn't want to face. We faced a uh, Chansey, I mean even though he wasn't brought up. And we faced a Wobbuffet. But that's why we watched Team Preview for safety. And yeah, it's Mono uh, Weakness Ghost, so it's fine. Medicham could uh, take care of it. So that's the end of round two. And we get only one battle point. Yeah, Gen 3 Battle Frontier doesn't pay as well as uh, the most recent ones. <laughs> you win round two, you get only one... One battle point. And then every item is like 30. Yeah, we had a tough childhood. Uh, and yeah, of course my trainer and my Pokemons are um, one character only. But I think, yeah, if you're on this channel you probably know why already. You save one frame per less character. Zongus Shellgun... Yeah, you save uh, one. Um, you save one f every time the text box gets shown. You save one frame per character less you have on the screen, or rather, you lose one frame per character extra character you have on the screen. So it adds up uh, really quickly. It adds up really really quickly. Because yeah, we we always see how our our mons uh, character like just in this fight it appeared I think twice and yeah with the sandstorm like it will display even more yeah sadly sun slash lived uh, unfortunately though. Uh, Sunveil didn't uh, proc there because he had uh, yeah Sunslash has Sunveil, so with the Sunstorm it was only 75 percent chance to hit that um, that brick break. I think on top of that is Bright Powder, but yeah we went through. Tentacruel across Altaria, that's easy for uh, Latios. So yeah, a lot of this run is about. Um, Really uh, click decent uh, moves really quickly, whether it is to pick your team or to click moves. You don't want to spend time thinking, but you don't want to um, make something stupid as well because one, yeah, one bad turn or one bad team choice can uh, make you lose uh, the whole thing. 
Sometimes you can even lose it to sheer luck, that's possible as well. Alright. Semi final for round 3. Septile Stilix Flagon. Um, yeah, I should be fine because I, I'm getting outsped by Septile, but I don't think a Septile has anything to kill me. But I don't think Flygon leaves Brick Break. Oh, I get outsped by Flygon, though. Or it's just Quick Low, perhaps. It has to be just quick low. Okay, at least it's still X, so it doesn't matter. I won't get killed by Septile. Uh, yeah, sadly, I'm not seeing the Twitch chat, by the way, so if you have any question, I will not see them. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, my Tiena can turn Ponita, that's for um, Medichan. Or maybe if there's an important question in the chat, they can whisper it at me. It... I'm completely fine with that. Because I might not... Yeah, in case I was not uh, clear with something, I would speed the Ponita and uh, this thing has uh, the bulk of a uh, paper sheet. So. It's an easy kill, and we are good with round 3. And now we get 2 battle points. Double our pay. So we immediately go to round 4. But yeah, even if you save every time, the thing is... Um, it's only a uh, save and quit. So the only thing you can do is take a break after one of the fights and then you can the game offer you to save and to restart your console but it works only once if you if I just like reset the console now I would lose my streak. Uh Sering Vroom Clefable, that's for uh HM. Because uh, yeah, it just saves that you're in the facility, and then if you, if I would restart the game, I would be respawned at the entrance, and uh, yeah, the host would tell me, uh, she would tell me like, uh, you didn't save your progression, therefore you are uh, disqualified. Okay, so Clefable will die. And the second one, whoever it is, yeah, Breloom will not survive. I'm glad I got Breloom a second because uh, effects 4 is a thing. That could have made this a bit more complicated, but uh, I am fine. Uh, Polygon 2, Heracross, Executor. Uh, thing is, I... I think I'm not killing the Exeg, and I'm not killing Polygon 2. Unfortunately. Not a really good um, matchup here. At least Heracross is there in this one, I... I do kill him. 
So at least I get one kill, uh, one, one of the two in one hit. Uh, it should be two hit KO though, so... Yeah. Okay, don't freeze me. Good. Good, good, good. So we're going to his history. This one is a lot of mashing as well. A lot of text boxes. Flagon, Vaporeon, Kingra. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do double edge. At least I know I'm safe because if I double edge the Vap, yeah, Latios will finish. Even if it goes wrong with Medicham. Uh, yeah, so I go for double edge even though it wastes frames from the recoil. Uh, it eats harder than break break, and I think yeah, it it, it, it eats harder than neutral break break. Okay, so this thing is really faster than me. Why is Flygon the fastest thing in, in the entire facility though? This I don't really understand. Uh, yeah, I'm getting max speed, I suppose, but yeah, more close to it. But that's pretty uncommon for um, the trainer runs to be like 252 EGs somewhere. Usually they have like more uh, balanced spreads. Need the Queen still except I. So yeah, that's the final of round uh, 4. So we should soon get our... Silver badge. Yeah, we didn't see that too much in this run, thankfully, but... Uh, yeah, some of the mons that just like to spam... Uh, Protect or detect turn one. Sometimes they even go for doubles. For double um, protect. Which doesn't accomplish anything, but it, it wastes time for the sake of the speedrun. Okay, luckily this fight was uh, pretty smooth. So we won round four. Off to round 5 we go. So at the end of round 5 we will face uh, Tucker. Domace Tucker. And um, yeah, Tucker is the only uh, predictable opponent when it comes to team. Because yeah, every trainer is random with a random team, but Tucker always have... He has two different teams for, for silver and for um, gold, but he, it's always the same ones. Plus, uh, the way the trainers pick their mons is not random. It's hard to really predict because it's too complex, but it's not random. You have the one Magma Stilix. Yeah, it's. It's technically not random, the AI has its logic, it has a formula uh, that I don't remember by heart, but it has a known formula on how they pick their uh, mons against you. But on the fly it's really hard to really tell which ones, which one the, the trader will pick. Okay, that's perfect, no guard of war. That's really perfect. Um, but yeah, that means that as long as you play the same team, 
most of the time Turker will uh, pick the same two mons in the same order against you. So in that way the Turker fight is really predictable. It al almost always goes the same way. I mean only like in battle RNG can affect it. Wizzing, Kazam, Vilplim. I hope no Kazam. That would be appreciated. Because I, I cannot one shot Kazam. Guess who it is? Okay, let's hope for a crit. Oh, okay, no, I one shot. Never mind. My bad. I actually one shot. Maybe it's a roll. Probably a roll, to be honest. I don't know, uh, like, my exact calcs by heart. As if I think there's a slight way to predict the trainers. Uh, BC Prime to Problem, that's for uh, Medi. Uh, it's that the trainer names, it's always the same trainer class. This is consistent. So, for example, Valeria, he's a. Um, He's a Pokemon Ranger, female Pokemon Ranger. Uh, she will always be a female Pokemon Ranger. So in that way you can uh, predict... If you know all the trainer names, you can predict. Which I think is the case of Exarion. I know like he could at least... Uh, when he did runs of this, he could at least uh, tell uh, which trainers were fishermen. And uh, yeah, fishermen's only have water types like 99% of the time, so he would not even look at team preview if it was a fisherman name and and just picks up those leads. But I I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I, I can only do it for Tucker. So yeah, in silver you want a uh, Latios lead. Because he has Salamence, Charizard, usually he picks Salamence, Charizard. And uh, yeah, I don't even remember what's the third one, but usually against this team it's Salamence, Charizard. And um, yeah, Latios has the best matchup against that. Oh, okay, it's Swampert. This time he picked Swampert, so... Okay, it's really rare that he picked Swampert. Uh, does he have Mirror Coat in Silver, though? Because I... Okay, no, it's Counter. Good. He almost never picks Swampert in... Silver fight. I'm really surprised. No, oh, and I missed the roll as well. Okay, pretty bad Turker fight. Pretty unfortunate turn of events. But it's fine. At least we are not in danger. Okay, so that's the silver symbol done, but we are here for gold. Just like a slit in the Olympics. This, this, this time it pays decently with 13 battle points. So at least it pays a bit better to... to beat Tucker. Round 6 now. So, um, yeah, it's really on round 8 onwards, I would say that um, you really get the maximum difficulty of the trainers. But here they already start to have uh, pretty good Pokemons. Crowdant and Tailock Theory. 
Let's force up this. Also, yeah, since I'm not exhorting neither, I'm not using uh, any Google uh, sheet neither. I'm only... Okay, so most of... Sometimes uh, this guy uh, likes to spam protect the crowd out. It's fine. But yeah, I don't keep any notes on... the sets or whatever. I just... go with what I know. I would like to say, oh, it's because I know everything and flex about it, but no, it's just because I'm really bad at handling notes while uh, I'm running if there's no if there's no cutscenes. Wizzing or the war rapidash. Uh, I'm just gonna double edge to be honest. I'm just gonna double edge. Sometimes when in doubt you can just put Medicham and double edge. If the, op if the opposing ones are not too fast, can be a good pick. Because the uh, double edge coverage is insane. And, um, yeah, Medicham, uh, Medicham is the uh, highest attack stat in the game for Gen 3. Uh, if you take pure power into account, of course. So yeah, I'm a max attack adamant, choice band, pure power. So yeah, it cannot hit any harder. Sizer, Claydol, Milotic. I really don't want to face uh, Milotic though. I really don't want to face Milotic. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I doubt this will kill. Yeah, there was no way. Don't freeze me. Okay, no freeze. And please be um, Sizer. Yeah, thank you. This is why we have a hidden power four. Just to destroy this and fortress. This is the only reason. Final of round six. If I'm correct, Septile Metagross like mm. I'm unsure having made the best choice, but there was no really good choice there. I have no combination that one shots everything. Don't crit me. Good. Please be slacking. Uh, of course. This doesn't kill, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's okay. Uh... Hopefully it's not quick close on. Quick low shadow ball crit uh, ends the run here. Okay. Good. That's front six out of the way.
And uh, for that we get three battle points. Which is uh, nothing. Yeah. Battle Frontier w didn't play well back then. Meanwhile, in modern games, uh, you beat a Magikarp and you get 10,000 battle points. Alright. Heracross, Selectable Zero. That's always um, Latios, I would say. Do I think I one shot Arrow? I one shot Hera for sure. So I think. I think it's my best uh, shot. Oh, and I outspeed Arrow even. Yeah, perfect. I don't think I will one shot this thing, but this thing at least shouldn't be too dangerous. Oh, never mind, I kill it, okay. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. So, yeah, round seven, I would say, yeah. The trainers have good mounts, they only don't, don't have the legendaries, I think. Don't fan flag on Steelix. Not for that use. Surf, Diclo should one shot everything. Don't fan has a shit special defense. So. So we surfing, and depending on the second one, we are surfing as well. We would have decloed if it was um, Flygon. Smooth uh, fight. I need to take a nap after that. Yeah, I can relate because it's uh, uh, nine in the morning for me right now. Salamence, Zapdos, Karmari. Um, yeah, I lied. They already have Zapdos in round 7. It's just less likely. Yeah, nice bird keeper with the Zapdos. Normally my Zapdos should win against his Zapdos. Oh, uh, that can be annoying. Uh... Okay, if he does that, it's fine. Okay, we're fine. I think, uh, yeah, I would... I wasn't that threat with... Uh... Let's use neither, unless this has counter. But then maybe I should have surfed first for safety and then hidden power fire. That would have probably been the play. To avoid a potential counter. Okay, final of round 7, Metagross, Steelix, Regirock. Uh, hopefully no Metagross, but there is it's likely that Metagross shows up. Uh, the AI uh, figures that Metagross is good against my team usually. Like most of the time, I see a Metagross in the opposing team. Uh, the, the trainer picks it.
Yeah, there it is, but it's... I should be safe, unless it's a quick clone. No! Oh, it's Bright Powder! It's Bright Powder! Okay, no double miss. But I think he didn't have Shadow Ball because he didn't click against Medicham. And I think that always hits harder med uh, on Medicham than uh, Meteor Mash. It should at least. Because it's what? It's 160 for. Um, yeah, it's 160 for Shadow Ball and 150 for uh, Meteor Mash. Ah, maybe with the roll then it doesn't. Some. Yeah, because the way the. Um, the way it works is that the trainer simulates a damage roll of all of his moves. Uh, which is not necessarily the roll he will actually do on you. Uh, it recalculates when he actually does the attack. And you just pick whatever I uh, got the higher roll. Or can I blaze in those clubs? Um, so yeah, if it calculates a, roll, a max roll of Meteor Mash, uh, it might pick it over a uh, mineral of uh, Shadow Ball. Hopefully no those clubs. But sometimes the scrubs clicks curse. And... Which, uh, yeah, if he's below half HP, would uh, kill him. But no the scrubs. So we don't even have to worry about that. That the first fight of round 8 cleared. I don't know why these two guys sitting on the stairs, especially the old man. Like the grandstands are empty, just pick a seat. Registeel arrow arrow. Uh, yeah. I hope Registeel will not show up. I'm not even sure it's a tweet KO with uh Hidden poor fire. Yes, this is fine. This we destroy. Usually the AI likes uh, arrow against us, so hopefully picks arrow. Yeah, no, it's registeel. Oh, it's quick low registeel. Yeah, it's a street KO, sadly. Oh, yeah, counter works on hidden power on this generation um, because hidden power is a normal type. So even if you have like hidden power fire, which is special, uh, counter will be based off hidden power being a normal type move and therefore will work. Uh, mirror code will fail on hidden power for the same reason. That's a specificity of uh, Gen 3. Snorlax, God of War, Latias. Uh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's a really bad um, matchup. I'm uh, ironically at, le at risk of dying, I would say. If it's Snorlax lead, it's really bad. Okay, it's not. Don't freeze me. Oh! Uh, okay, this is really bad. I don't even have a right move here. Uh, I might lose the run here. Uh, 
Uh, okay, it's. But do I kill with double edge? Oh no, it's quick claw. No. Uh, I have no safe state. Oh, that double. Yeah, no, the crit doesn't matter on Shadow Ball, but crit plus quick claw. Wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't take any safe state, so I cannot continue. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there isn't anything I could have done, like... I, I got, yeah, Latios got, it never, Ice Punch of uh, Gardevoir never kills Latios. And yeah, then I... The Snorlax, uh, Snorlax crit me, but I think that doesn't matter. I think there's no way Medicham lives. Um, but yeah, I think there's no way Medicham lives, but he <laughs> it, it proc quick low. Uh, I'm not sure if double edge kill though. I, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. So maybe I, maybe the fight was lost. After uh, the ice punch crit, I don't know. But yeah, the if I just restart, start over, it will be uh, it will be. Um, why does it say seven? Even though I was in round eight. But yeah, sadly I cannot finish the run. Uh, so yeah, I I don't know what I can show if uh, what's after me is really. I'm really sorry for that. But but yeah, the run is uh, lost. The streak is lost. Yeah. I mean, thing is, I need to start over. I need to start over from the start. Is that the thing? So, like, I lose. Yeah. Is that the thing? Like, I mean, I can do it, but, like, I really need to. I have to start over from the very beginning. So, like, I was, like, what, 40 plus minutes in? So do you? I mean, if you if you want me to fill the time, I can uh, make a second attempt. But okay, let's go for a second attempt. Yeah, no, let's go for a second attempt then. Uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, so I punch. Yeah. Since I guess. Uh, Stream could only hear me. Uh, yeah, apparently there was a time buffer after my run, so I actually have time to make a second attempt. So let's just do that. And then if it dies again, it's my bad then. But... Alright, here we go. So obviously we are back to round one now. So it will be a weak Pokemon again. Oh uh, yeah, I shouldn't have started over like that, but uh, never mind. It doesn't matter, I guess. Because now I will not face Tucker after Silver. I think. 
but it's okay. That means yeah, if I PB, that means the run is not valid for the board, but... That's not gonna happen anyway. Second fight. Oh, wh what? What? Okay, I'm confused. I uh, saw so it's war type, so at least now that I accidentally saw team preview. Okay, I, I guess I mismenued or. Or something, but yeah. Whatever, it's a few seconds, it's fine. And this thing should die of HP grass. Okay, so it, it feels a bit strange to have to re go through these uh, early trainers uh, now that we're against uh, the stronger ones just a few minutes earlier. I don't think the crit mattered on the rat, but if it did, uh, then uh, good for me. And we Oko the cast for. So final round for round one. So yeah, I guess if you missed the start of the run, uh, if you missed the first attempt, I can go through the explanation again for uh, Battle Dome. So um, in the Battle Dome, you, uh, it's one of the Battle Frontier facilities, one of the sevens. Uh, each round is a single elimination bracket tournament with you and 15 AI trainers. So completing a round takes uh, four fights to win, and um, after five rounds you get the silver symbol, after ten you get the gold symbol uh, in a row, that is, you need to win them in a row without a single loss. Um, and after, uh, yeah, before silver and before gold you will face Tucker in the final of round 5 and 10. Uh, since I started over here uh, without um, uh, resetting my Cephal, I think we will not see Tucker in round 5, which technically makes this run invalid, but it's fine. Because this is uh, not gonna be PB anyway. And... Alright, so what's the Wigglytuff Carmelion figures? That's for Medicham. Um, so yeah, you you take three uh, Pokémons in your team, but you only bring two to each fight. 
And uh, unlike... Uh, yeah, I think it's the only place in Generation 3 where you have access to team preview, actually. You can see the three uh, months of your opponent and choose accordingly. And uh, yeah, in round one, uh, I wasn't looking at team preview. Because normally Latios uh, kills everything, or almost. And you save a few seconds by uh, not looking at team preview and entering the fight directly. Uh, in PB attempts, I tend to do that for round two as well. Because if I get good RNG, I don't need to neither. Uh, but there are some cases where it can go pretty wrong, so... For the sake of uh, marathon safety, I will look at team preview in round two. Mainly f because of Wobbuffet and Chansey. Uh, Soul Rock or Buck Tanger. Should be fine. I'm not sure if I Oko Tangela, but. Maybe not Soul Rock either. Um, so, yeah, the trainers have a quotation mark proper EV spread, or at least what Game Freak think it's proper EV spread. But in. Um, but there's a bug where their IVs are um, three in every stat as long as your streak in the battle tower is uh, zero. Because yeah, for the IVs, the game only refers to your streak in Battle Tower, and not the streak of uh, the current facility you're in. So you want a streak of zero in the tower when uh, starting runs of this, which uh, yeah can be achieved pretty easily by losing a fight in the Battle Tower. Magneton, Camerup, Ninjask. Oh, that should be for Latios. Camel dies of Surf. Ninjask should die of uh, Psychic. And our bug dies of. Uh, yeah, some of these mons I like to spam protect for no reason. At least he failed the double protect, but yeah. That's the AI trainer for you, they always like to spam protect. And yeah, doesn't accomplish anything, but it wastes us time. Because this dies off uh, HP fire, I'm pretty sure. So we are clear with uh, round two. Oh no, never mind. We have the final of round two left. My bad, my bad. Grand Pig, Bennett, Sorak. Uh, that's for Medicham actually. Shadow Ball should kill everything here. Uh, and yeah, the, the way the EI picks their two months. Uh, is not random, it has uh, a formula behind it, but it's pretty complex to predict accurately. Uh, that means it's pretty much only... Um, it's pretty much predictable only against uh, Tucker, because he always has the same team against you. Uh, but we saw in the previous attempt I just did before that even him it's not. An, he will pick most of the time the same stuff against me, but not always. I guess it's because uh, yeah, it must be tied in his choice between uh, two different options, so he picks up randomly between the two. So yeah, we complete round two and we won one battle point. Exactly one. Let me try to open to chat on 
doing the good things. Be more convenient to answer questions. Linun uh, Noctowl Venomous. That's pretty bad. I don't like this matchup. I don't really like this matchup. Okay, this is fine. Faint attack should yeah, do very little damage to me. The first fight of round 3 is clear. Grumpy Gorblist Politoed. Uh, uh. I'm just gonna double edge. You're in doubt? Just double edge. Just double edge IMO. That should kill everything. Grumpy doesn't really have good physical bulk. So yeah, you waste frames by having the recoil, but... There are situations where if you want to one-shot both the opposing mons, like this fight, you can only do this move because... Um, it hits harder than Brick Break. Neutral, when it's neutral. Because like, Brick Break is uh, 75 plus stab, so it's like uh, 115, I think, something like that. Swelo, Gligar, Piloswine. Uh, I'm, I'm double edging, I think. Uh, so yeah, it hits harder than neutral Brick Break, and... Uh, double edge is always neutral if there is no rock or uh, steel type against you, so... There are a lot of situations where it's uh, convenient to spam it. Even though you lose a few frames to uh, the recoil. I think it's... Uh, I personally think it's... Uh, there are many situations where it's worth it. Like those two fights... I'm pretty sure it would have been slower if I didn't have double edge. Alright, here comes the final of Snizzle Metan Kekchun. I think it's from... is it 3 or 4? I lost track. No, it's 3. I'm 15 minutes in, so it has to be 3. Yeah, uh, yeah, get clearing 4 rounds of this in... This window is not possible, so yeah, this is the end of round 3. Final for round 3. I think Brick Break should kill me, Tang. Yeah, well, especially if I crit. <laughs> Sneasel outspeeds me, but not a big deal. Well, I crit again. That probably did 1000% uh, of his health bar, to be honest. Crit, uh, choice burn, brick break, adamant. So yeah, if you miss the first attempt, uh, yeah, my I play uh, my items are um, 
Twisted Spoon on Matthews, Magnet on uh, Zapdos, and uh, Choice Band on Medicham. So Twisted Spoon is a plus 10% on Psychic Attack. Um, Magnet is 10% on Electric Type Attack. And Choice Band is a 50% damage bonus on physical attacks, but you are locked on one move until you switch. But on Medicham it's worth it, because it's the highest uh, attack in the game, thanks to pure power. Glali Kazam the Scrubs. Uh, I misclicked. I misclicked. I'm losing a few seconds, but it's fine. Exactly the guy I didn't want to see. Oh yeah, and he didn't go for a curse. Come on, Latios. Good boy. Confusion is 50% chance to hit only. In this game. Uh, I need to make the safe play here. I cannot afford to let Latios die. I need to sack my Medicham. Because I can never know what it does. But okay, it's fine. So it's probably not the fastest, but... I made it through. Turned out he only had the punch to hit us, so... I was probably fine. But... I mean, if, if he had Ice Punch, it would have been a problem against Latios. More Stomp, much Shock, Kabutops. I uh, probably should have just won for Zap, to be honest. But Medicham should work as well. I think everything dies from a uh, Brick Break. Guy likes to spam protect. Oh, and double protect, yeah. Uh, double protect, though, is a 50% chance to succeed on on a generation three. Oh, and focus ban now, amazing. And I guess he will do protect. Okay, he's not going for protect. So we are now up to semi-final of round 4. Grumping, Shimeko, Golbat. I'm just gonna go for that and... Trade for no Golbat. At least no Golbat lead, that would be appreciated. But I guess I can just go Sh Shadow Ball, that's to tweet KO Golbat. I cannot double edge though because of uh, Bennett. Oh, sorry, no Grumpy. Oh, yeah, it was Grumpy. Yeah, I should have uh, double edge actually, probably. In case uh, I faced Goldbat. For some reason, I remembered Bennett instead of Grumpy. I think it's because I faced both earlier. Uh, the two mischievous flygon. Uh, 
I hope uh, yeah, ideally no fly gun. Because I don't kill this thing with Shadow Ball. Oh, and guess who it is? Uh, oh, yeah, it's true that he outspeeds me. Uh, Latios should win the fight. Losing in round 4 would be really bad though. I didn't play. I, I should have hard switched into Latios, so. This is my fault if I lose anyway. Okay, so we are fine. But yeah, that was not the play, I should have hard switched on Latios. My my play wasn't accomplishing anything. So yeah, round four is uh, cleared. And yeah, I think because I did not uh, reload um, the save, I think Tucker will not show up. Since on the previous attempt I uh, got the silver but uh, lost before getting gold. I think in this situation Tucker doesn't show up. Which is uh, not the leaderboard legal. Still X Magma of ours. Uh, maybe um, Alphaos might leave. Brick break? I'm not sure. The other two don't for sure. Moment of truth. Yeah, doesn't because the uh, Medicham is a goat. He's a goat. Oh, Tucker is here. Never mind. Tucker is here. Good. Gengar need a queen wizzing. That's for that's use. will die of psychic yeah it's mono uh, psychic weakness and Latios is the best uh, Pokemon in Battle Frontier so that is allowed in Battle Frontier even though uh, Soul Dew uh, doesn't work this is why I am Twisted Spoon But yeah, it, even then, it's still the best uh, available Pokemon in uh, Steelix Arcana Inceptile. Uh, I hope I kill Sceptile. I'm not sure about killing Sceptile. The other two I kill no problem, but... Yeah, we will never know. 
because he didn't show up, which I will certainly not complain about. Okay, so for Tucker, I know his team, so I don't need to watch team preview. He has uh, Swampert, Salamence, and Charizard. Um, normally, he always picks uh, Salamence, Charizard against my squad, but. Uh, uh, in the previous attempt I just did before, uh, he led with uh, Swampert, so um, let's see what happens here. Oh, he went for Swampert again, okay. Interesting. He could counter as well. And uh, last time though he went for uh, Charizard second. So yeah, typical uh, marathon thing to for the normal, like the usual, not happening twice in a row. Uh, this is better than Charizard though because uh, Char uh, Surf is a role on Charizard. Meanwhile, I always kill uh, Mans with a Declaw. Diclo, who is of course a special move in Gen 3. Because in Gen 1 to 3, it's. Um, yeah, if, if a move is physical or special, it's based off um, the type. Solely on the type. It's not move per move. And uh, yeah, dragon type is uh, special, so all dragon moves are special. And that also means hidden power can be physical or special depending on its type. Pinsir Broom Sizer. Um. And uh, yeah, however, uh, since by default it's a normal type move, uh, counter will always work on uh, hidden power and the uh, mirror code will always fail. I think I should have picked Latios. I think Zapdos was a stupid move. If this doesn't kill I was really stupid to pick Zapdos. Yeah, okay. It was a really bad decision. I should have just picked uh, Latios. At least, uh, yeah. It's not a decision that puts me in an unsafe position. I just, uh, yeah, w wasted a turn. With that use, it would have taken me one less turn to beat the fight. Charizard, Flagator, Vaporeon, that's for Zap though. This time it's actually for Zap. So yeah, the trainers have random teams, but it still depends on their trainer class. And if you know by heart the trainer names, uh, you will know what trainer class they are, and you can sometimes predict. And uh, I know uh, Exarion. Oh no. No freeze? No, oh, of course. Okay, oh. one more chance. Nope, it's 20% each turn to unfreeze. Um, is it safe? It should be, but... 
Is it? And yeah, the freeze itself was 10% chance of happening. Uh, I should be safe. I should be safe. Yeah. Take your frustration to some other place. Uh, after being frozen, I think uh, this caption is from the trainer is pretty accurate. I ground shackle d'enfant. I think I don't talk about shackle, but it's fine. Oh no, we face uh, Kendrick. Shout out to uh, IC. He will know why. Okay, I hope to not see Shackle, because I'm not sure of uh, one-shotting it. But meanwhile, I'm not sure to one-shot this neither, to be honest, so... Wow. <laughs> For sure you have less problems when you crit. So yeah, this was the semi-final for round 6. Blaziken need a queen, need a king, that's an easy win for Latius. I should have picked a Medicham second though, in case I get like quick low uh, horn drill or something like that. Because then, uh, yeah, with Zapdos I'm not winning this. Oh, that's a mistake, I hope I won't be punished for that. It's pretty unlikely, but you need to take it into account. That's also, yeah, optimizing your odds is really a uh, key for uh, this run. Cannot complain as much about odds when you, on your end, you haven't done everything to maximize them. Uh, okay, so round six is cleared. Now off to round number seven. I'll just go without safe states again. If I die twice, I don't deserve to finish this, to be honest. Ok, round 7. Zangus don't fan blissé. I think if it's don't fan lead, I'm switching for safety. Because I need Medi at all costs against Bliss. And I'm not sure I would kill with uh, Brick Break. I don't remember. So it, it, I know it's not the fastest, but. I don't want to risk it. Because I'm not leaving Earthquake. <laughs> I wouldn't leave that neither. If it's Zangus, I would appreciate it. Yeah. At least I don't have to switch back. Okay, so I am fine with the first fight. Off to uh, round two we go. 
Lapras uh, Mens Embryon. That's so bad. Lapras Salamence Em... Uh, if it's not Salamence lead, I need to hard switch on... On midi. And I think this thing is like... Toxic, uh, minimize. This can go really wrong. Yeah, double team. This can go really wrong. Okay, I didn't miss. I think it's like 80% accuracy after one double team. Okay, no mens. That's good. That's good. Yeah, round 7 is where it really starts to get tricky. Uh, but round 8 uh, is where uh, the AI reaches peak of the Pokemon they pick in uh, round 8. In round 8 they can have everything. Uh, Kingdra, Agron, Ferrier... Yeah, we saw that uh, Fairy Gator can leave Brick Break, so... I don't think he has much to hit Latios anyway. Oh, it has Ice Beam, never mind. I should leave. No Freeze. That's good. And now uh, at least the fight is safe to win. <laughs> the previous aggro I created as well, I think. That's pretty funny. So we will never know. I think it doesn't kill Surf actually. I think the crit matters. It's at, at best a roll. Oh no, we are facing Pedro. Milotic slacking Sharpedo. Uh, I think that's the play here. I hope slacking doesn't one shot me though. Outspeed and one shot me. I think it doesn't. But... Yeah, this thing does Okay, this thing has rough skin. I um, don't think I kill Milo, but it's fine. It doesn't kill me neither. That did a lot though. Medicham really doesn't have good bulk. Okay, so round 7 is clear, and now we are off to round 8, which is uh, where our, our previous attempt uh, died in a very unfortunate fashion. It died in the final, so we actually need to get to round 9 if we want to get further than the first attempt. Okay, round 8. Donfant, La Presse, Marowak. Uh, Donfant, La Presse, Marowak. Maybe I should have one for Midi first. Maybe I should have one for... Um... Uh, 
Um, let's see. There's no way HP grass kills. Oh, never mind, it does. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. I mean, it doesn't kill Donfall. I'm really shocked by what I'm seeing right now. That's not focus, man. He just lived. But Donfa has really bad special buff. So how did it survive and Marowak didn't? I mean, Marowak doesn't have great special bulk neither. Eh, whatever. Uh, Vapo, Machamp, Mehdi. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this matchup. Not a big fan of the, this matchup, if I'm being honest. I think Dripeg doesn't kill, but let's try it anyway. Yeah. I should leave this. Yeah. I did a lot now. Uh oh. Okay, that's bad. Uh, I forgot it's Vaporeon and I forgot what the other one. I hope I didn't make the bad play here. Okay, no, that should be good. Yeah, there's no way Medicham lives. Yeah. All right. Yeah, focus band. Yeah, if you don't know it, it's 10% chance of uh, surviving the hit with one HP on every attack. A really esport friendly item, and they love it in the battle frontier. The AI trainers, they love it. This and bright powers, they love it. Absor, rapid dash, polygon, that's for me. So yeah, in round 8, this is where you can have a legendary, like you can have the little kids starting to have like Latios, Latias, Raikou, Suikun, pretty much anything that is allowed in the, in the facility. And the only bans are Groudon, Kyogre, Mew Mewtwo, uh, Celebi, Jirachi, uh, Oh Rugia. Do I leave this? Yeah, I do. Easily. Easily. So yeah, I'm back to where the run uh, died earlier. Round 8 final. Prage. Let's try to make it this time. Ampharos using Altaria. Yeah, I think I don't kill on Pharos, but this should be fine for Latios. Should be 2-hit KO on, on Pharos without too much trouble. And then I should kill Altaria. Oh, Wizzing, I'm really happy to see him because I one-shot him. If it's Altaria second, it's perfect. It is on Pharos, but it's fine. Oh, and I crit, I'm so good at this. I'm so talented. Okay, round 8 is uh, behind us. So, two more rounds. Two more rounds and the two toughest ones. I would say maybe round 10 is um, 
Actually, a bit less tough because there is a Tucker at the end, and on this one, you on this fight, you know what to do. Meanwhile, on the other, you don't, so it's technically um, one fight less. Were you at risk? Even though the Tucker fight can go wrong if you re get really bad RNG with this squad. Dugon, Crobat, Jolteon. Uh... Uh, Jolteon is the worst one to face in the entire frontier. Because he outspeeds me, uh, he outspeeds everyone. He deals a lot of damage to every all of my team, and Zapdos cannot hit it effectively. So yeah, uh, Jolteon is the mon that can kill the Zoran the most easily. Plus, it has like Thunder Wave Crunch, so it can like para flinch. Okay, at least the trainer didn't pick it. That's really uh, welcome. So yeah, we'll, uh, with uh, Jolteon against you, it um, can really easily go wrong. Uh, Brulou, Metagross, Machamp. I would go for that. I think I leave Shadow Ball. Yeah, I leave Shadow Ball. I just need to hope for like no quick low, no shenanigans like that. There he is. HP fire doesn't kill. Nash shouldn't kill neither. I'm good to go. Bell, Metagross, Undun. Uh, Undum dies of Surf, Victory Bell dies of Psychic, and yeah, Metagross, you just saw the game plan. So, yeah, hopefully, this goes well. Uh, Undum, this thing has a negative bulk. It will always die of surf. And victory build, that's perfect, no metagross. It's really. Usually, um, the AI likes to pick metagross against my team. It's extremely rare that a trainer gets a metagross and doesn't use it against me. Like, by the AI logic, uh, it's considered really good against my team. Which is honestly kinda true. Certainly won't complain about Metagross not showing up. Latios Altaya Flygon, that's for my Latios. Dragon Claw uh, times 3 should do it. I'm not sure if I one shot the opposing Latios though. So this can go wrong. If I get killed by the other Latios. Okay, no, if it's second. I should be fine. Because I think uh, Medicham can leave a hit from the Latios. Or can it? I hope I won't have to find out. Okay, so for some reason he didn't pick Latios. Wow, okay, the trainers really like to not pick their best mons against me. Nice.
Oh, wait, I'm at 60. On... Was it round 8? Maybe it was just round 8. Because round 9 after 51 minutes? Or it's a really good pace then. If I'm re at round 10. I mean, we'll find out if Tucker shows up or not. If Tucker is not here, it means it's round 9. And if he's here, it means it's round 10. There's no way to tell with the trainers because they have. Um, yeah, from round 8 onwards, they are uh, maxed out. When it comes to the mon they can have, so. Round 8, 9, and. 10 technically do play the same way. Undu Maria Maflarion. Easy for uh, that use. Flareon is history. And Yama is soon to be as well. Fake out to waste some time. Okay, so I'm in round 10. I guess that's pretty decent pace. Vaporeon, Jolteon, Umbreon. Uh, that's uh, really bad. Why did I pick Zap? I should have. If it's lead Vapo, I need to hard switch on Zap. I cannot take the risk. I should leave. Okay, uh, at least I should win this fight now. Yeah, I'm winning this fight. At least I think so? Maybe can leave and like with Ice Beam shenanigans? Okay, the odds are in my favor, but this might not be 100% in the bag. Okay, no, never mind, it dies. Vaporeon sometimes leaves uh, attacks you don't expect it to leave, especially on the special side. This special bulk is pretty good. And yeah, the trainers have several possible uh, movesets, and their IV sp EV spreads is different. From set to set. Stormy, Tropius, Zigzag. Uh... Me to, yeah. This can go wrong, I think. A lot of potential status move. The exact lead, I think, was the worst possible. Uh, if it's exact the second one, you will have chlorophyll. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm still faster. This should be fine. Unless... Okay, it's legit, it's fine. I was fearing like sleep powder or something like that. Yeah, we make it through. I hope I will not mineral this though. Of course. So yeah, a bit of a waste of time here with a lot of status leftovers and stuff like that, but at least I'm safe. At least I'm safe. 
So yeah, if I was on PV pace, I would be extremely angry, but in the marathon, uh, I'm really fine with that. So here we go, the final showdown versus uh, Mr. Tucker. So normally, so he has Swampert, Metagross, Latias. And normally he always goes for Swampert, then Metagross against my team. So yeah, if that's the case, I just HP Grass the Swampert. And then normally I'm fine. At least I'm guaranteed to win the fight after that. Almost guaranteed. I think if I get really bad odds against the Metagross, I can lose, but... Okay, there we go, final fight in the run. No matter what happens. Uh, so, if I win the fight, times comes up. Uh, when I f it fades to black, back to... Um, back to the main uh, hallway. Like when I get out of the arena, back to the hallway. That fate of black is uh, time. It's it's not immediately after the fight. Metagross doing uh, for going for double protect. Oh, at the quick low kicking in. Okay, I'm not dying. Perfect. And there we go, the second attempt was the right one. We beat Tucker and get the gold symbol. Sue. And time. And time, yeah. Great. Took me uh, two attempts, but... Okay, at least the second one made it to the end. So that's, uh, yeah, that was a uh, Pokemon Emerald, uh... Oh, it's train apart. Oh yeah, yeah, and this save file, it says I have all gold. But yeah, that was a uh, Pokemon Emerald Battle Dome. Thank you for uh, having me at PSR Marathon. Uh, it was my first time in here, and uh, yeah, I had a blast. I even got to, uh, yeah, stay twice as long as... I should have almost with that uh, uh, run restart, but yeah. Thank you for uh, having me and uh, yeah for uh, also allowing me a second attempt at this after what happened in the in round eight of the first attempt. And yeah, thank you for the GGs and uh, yeah, have a good uh, rest of your uh, marathon. Bye bye.